Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I am going to be reshuffling my everyday makeup drawer. If you watched my overall makeup collection video, you'll know I have my Ikea vanity situation. And then I have my drawers behind me as well, which hold the bulk of my makeup collection. So I wanted to use my vanity as kind of like an everyday makeup space. It's right in front of the window. So I find the lighting really good. And I want products in here that I can just quickly grab and I don't really have to think about. Um, seasonal items as well, new products that I wanna test and just things I'm really liking. So that's the plan today. This is gonna be a bit more spring inspired as well. So if you enjoy, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. My name is Millie and I do beauty videos and the occasional lifestyle and routine video as well. So if that sounds good, then do make sure you are subscribed and let's get into it. So my drawers are currently empty. Um, if you're wondering what's on my nails, by the way, because I feel like it's gonna be a very handy video, so I might get questions on that. Um, it's this SE nail polish in the shade Peach Daiquiri. Not the best manicure in the world, but um, a really nice um, kind of spring summer shade. So a lot of the products that I want to feature, I think are going to be quite lightweight, very spring summer appropriate. I also want to try and include some different types of tones um, for my blushes, my lip products, and just have a little bit more fun. So I'm going to include two primers. Um, these are actually the only two primers I have in my collection at the moment. So my primer collection is definitely looking quite sparse. So I have my e.l.f. Halo Glow, which is lovely if you want a bit of a glow. And um, this one is in the shade three. And then I have my Power Grip primer as well, um, which I'm kind of running out of. So I do want to finish this up. Um, and this is just a really good kind of long lasting primer as well. So, so yeah, between these two, I have my primer options covered. So these are the two foundations I think I'm going to go for, and um, both drugstore options actually. This is turning out to be quite the affordable everyday makeup draw so far. So the first one I have is my Rimmel Lasting Finish. This is in the shade 100 Ivory and it's good as we move into spring and summer. It's quite a lightweight formula. It does have a decent amount of coverage though I would say. Um, it does have hyaluronic acid in there as well. So. Again, it's pretty hydrating and just a nice one for every day. I've then gone for my trusty Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint. Um, I wouldn't really say this was a skin tint and I feel like I mentioned that quite a lot. It's definitely more of your light to medium coverage foundation. I feel like you can get medium coverage from it pretty easily and it's not super dewy or glowy. It's a really nice, very natural skin-like finish. This is in the shade number three. And you can kind of see it has almost like a pearlescent glow to it, but again, I don't really find it very dewy and radiant on the skin. It just kind of leaves your skin looking very smooth. Um, so I really like this one for an everyday option if I want a tiny bit more coverage and something that's not overly oily. So I'm gonna pop in one concealer and that's gonna be my rose ink concealer. This is a really nice creamy concealer slightly more full coverage again but i find it a really nice creamy formula very hydrating as well it's just your good kind of classic creamy concealer formula i don't really have any complaints it wears really nicely the shade is lx30 i think yeah lx30 which um is a nice match under my eyes and i can also use it around the face as well and then i think in this bottom section i am going to put a powder in. Um, no surprises, I'm still making my way through my Bite Beauty powder. For some reason, like since I've hit pan, I'm not going through it as quickly as I thought I would. So I am going to include this. Um, I feel like this year is probably going to be the last chance I have to use it because it will probably start to turn and expire soon. Um, but it's just a really good everyday powder. Not super, super finely milled, but it does a really nice job at mattifying the skin without being um, too flower cakey. So you can't get this anymore, but I am going to pop it into my drawer. And then a product that I've been using so much is this Hourglass palette. This is one of their unlocked palettes and I've just been reaching for this nonstop. It's really, really handy. It's great for travel as well because it has a huge mirror. I love the blush shades in here. 
The only shade that I don't really use is this highlighting shade because it's just a, I don't know, it's not my favourite highlighting formula. I actually much prefer um, their ambient lighting powders just to give a nice soft amount of luminosity to the skin. Um, but the three blushes, I think this one is technically a bronzer, but it's not, um, I mean, as you can see, it's not the most bronzed <laughs> product in the world. I really like this. The blush shades are lovely as blush toppers if you want a nice radiant blush. Um, and yeah, as I said, I've been reaching for this pretty much every single day. So I'm definitely going to add, definitely going to add this in as well. I've kind of taken over that space now, hasn't it? So this is the powder bronzer that I am going to opt for. It's my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Really like the tone of this as we come into spring and summer. I find it works really nicely when I have a little bit of a tan, but you can sheer it out enough as well on those like more pale days so it doesn't look too overly orange. So this one is in two medium. I'm really happy that I went with the medium shade over the fair shade. I do have a couple of really nice fair bronzers which I really enjoy in the autumn and winter, but I also like having those slightly more deeper, slightly more warm options for the summer. So this is one that I always reach for. I'm then also going to add in my Elf Putty, um, not blush, <laughs> Elf Putty bronzer in tan lines. Definitely in the market for a new cream bronzer. This one and my nude sticks are both on their way out. I really do like this formula. It's very sheer, very buildable. It gives a, the skin a really nice radiance. Um, it's just a really excellent one for every day and it works nicely. If you're not wearing a ton of makeup as well because i find it does just blend into the skin really seamlessly so this is one that i always like to have just as an option if i want something that's just really quick and easy so i obviously have my hourglass palette which has a few um powder blush options but i did also want to include this one from charlotte tilbury so this is in the shade ecstasy and i really like this it's kind of like a, a rosy coral the shade in the middle is a really nice kind of luminous coral shade but then the outside is a little bit more muted. It's a tiny bit more of like a, a tawny nude shade. So I really like the combination of the two. I think it just gives the skin a really nice flush. And I do enjoy the formula of these as well. Um, and I feel like this is a shade that doesn't get a lot of love in my collection. So I'm going to add this one in. Then have three cream blushes as well. I always have at least two knocking around in my everyday makeup sash. So I've got my Glossier Kyle Paint in Dawn. This is a really nice fiery orange. It's a very bright shade, but I love it with a bit of a tan. So I think maybe towards the kind of end of spring, I will reach for this one a lot. Love the Kyle Paint formula. They're very blendable, a really nice one. And the shade is a little bit different as well for me. So I did want to include this. And then another liquid blush option is this one from NARS. This is in the classic shade Orgasm. So a really nice pinky peach. Um, this one is very, very fluid actually. It's one that I really like if I'm not wearing a lot of foundation. It is so thin, it's very sheer. So similarly to the e.l.f. Um, putty bronzer, it's just a really quick and effortless blush to go for if you don't really want to wear a ton of makeup. Um, I find it's a really nice flattering formula as well. Again, because it's so fluid, it just blends really, really nicely. And this is a nice everyday shade as well. And then my last one is this one from e.l.f. This is in Turks and Caicos. So this is probably one of the more matte cream blushes that I own. So I find their putty blush formula. Yeah, they are slightly more on the matte side, almost like a cream to powder. They do have a luminous version as well, but I actually really like this formula. I find because it is a little bit more matte, it is a cream to powder. It does last really nicely on the skin and it works well over foundations. It's also a very um, spring summer appropriate shade. It's a lovely coral, definitely one of my favorite shades to wear. I don't actually think I'm going to pull out an additional highlighter. I think with my hourglass palette, I can use those as blush toppers, which again, just give the cheeks a little bit more of a glow. I've got my e.l.f. halo glow in there as well, which doubles up as a nice liquid illuminator. So the last thing that I am going to add in, and I pretty much have this on top of my vanity anyway, and it's my setting spray. This is the e.l.f. one. I'm almost finished, so I do need to 
go out and replenish, restock. I might pick up a different setting spray for the summer, something that's a bit more long lasting. This one's really nice in the winter because it is more hydrating, it's a bit more glowy, and it just helps your makeup to look a bit fresher. <laughs> so yeah, I do really like this one, but I am in the market for something a bit different. Um, okay, I need to make some room for my eye products next. I'm just gonna add in my Glossier Boy Brow for a really quick and easy brow option. This is a really nice tinted fiber brow gel. Fills in the brows nicely, gives them a bit of hold and also just fluffs them up. So I really do like this and it's just the perfect everyday tinted brow option if you're not too fussed about whipping out a pencil or um, like a powder or pomade or anything like that. It's always handy to have a really quick tinted brow gel. So I am of course going to add in my little Viseart quad in Amelie. This is one of my favourite eyeshadow quads and for this time of year I think these shimmers are just absolutely perfect. I love the slightly more pinky peach tone as well that they have. I think again that just makes it really appropriate for summer. I definitely love my taupes and a bronze is also really nice this time of year but I just love the slightly more peachy pink tone that these um, eyeshadows have but they're not too outrageous or too much out of my or too far out of my comfort zone so I do really enjoy this quad and the mattes as well are a nice warm brown option. I've also been really loving this Nabla side by side palette mainly for the matte eyeshadows. I think this palette has the best selection of matte shadows. I really want to try the Makeup by Mario like fully matte palette. I think I would get a lot of use out of that because I do genuinely reach for mattes on a daily basis, whether it's um, this black shade to just smoke out the lash line as a bit of an eyeliner. We've also got the shade Rarity, which is a really nice um, highlighting kind of blending shade on the brow bone. These three are like the perfect neutral browns that you can use in your crease. I use Clan and Beauty Mark quite a lot in my brows as well. Um, the shimmers in here, I can kind of, I don't know, I can take them or leave them, but the mattes for me just make this palette. It's one that I find myself reaching for, for just a multitude of different things. So though I don't think this is going to <laughs> fit fully in my drawer, I might have to put it to one side. It's over here, you can see it kind of. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's one that I definitely want to continue to have on my vanity. So I then wanted to also add in this Armani eye tint. Let's focus camera, please. This is a really nice pearlescent shimmer shade. This is in the shade 12S. These are really easy to use as lid toppers. This is also a really nice kind of highlighting shade. So I tend to use this in my inner corner a lot. So you can kind of see just how beautiful and pearly, the shade is really nice lid topper, really nice, just blended over any kind of eye look, just to give it a little bit of extra shimmer, extra sparkle. Love this in the evenings as well, because it catches the light really beautifully. These last really well on my eyes as well. They're very easy to blend. I would love to pick up a slightly deeper shade to use as like a one and done shadow, because I think the formula would lend itself really nicely as well to be worn kind of all over the lid and buffed out into the crease a little bit so I am going to add this as just a little something extra. This Bobbi Brown stick is also something that I've been reaching for a lot more often than I thought and um, so it's one of their long wear cream shadow sticks in the shade Dusty Mauve. As the name would suggest it's a really nice mauve shade. I find that this works really nicely paired with the Armani eye tint just kind of tapped over the top. These are a really great cream shadow stick formula, very long lasting, really nice mauve shade. I find just complements my hazel eyes really nicely. So I am going to add that in because again, it's just something that I've been reaching for quite a lot. I like it smudged on the upper and lower lash line and it just really makes my eyes pop. The only other thing to add in is a mascara. So I've got my Bobbi Brown Smoky Lash. I do enjoy it, it's a really nice formula for adding quite a lot of volume and fluffiness to the lashes, but I find it a tiny bit hard to remove at the end of the day. So that just leaves this little basket here, which I want to just fill with lip products. I had an amazing PR package from YSL 
and they gifted me one of their candy glazes and some of the new love shine lipsticks as well so i'm gonna add in the candy glaze first um i've done a whole video on these so i will link that for you if you are interested in the swatches and how they look on the lips um but this is one of their candy glaze in the shade 15. so this is a really thick emollient lip product it really does coat the lips but it just leaves them looking really um plump really smooth and it's a really nice glossy formula as well that hydrates this is just my perfect <laughs> new shade as you can see it's pretty well loved already and i've only had it in my collection for <laughs> a couple of weeks but i just really really enjoy this lip product it's a really lovely formula if you want something nice and hydrating i'm also going to add in one of the love shines so these are um, a lot thinner than the candy glaze but they have a really nice kind of oily feel to them but not in like a horrible way <laughs> just in a really nice thin hydrating way again just a really nice everyday lip option i'm loving that the lip trends at the moment are very balm like and you know tinted balms tinted lip oils are all the rage at the moment not really seeing a lot of matte um lipsticks and you know liquid lipsticks so yeah i'm really loving the slightly more sheer balms that are being released and this one is in the shade 150 um, it is a nude, but it's a tiny bit brighter. These are quite sheer still. But you can see they're a really nice coral. I think it will go well with a couple of the blushes that we have as well. So definitely adding this in. And then I'm just gonna throw in a couple of lip liner options. I've got the NYX lip liner in Leon, which is a little bit more warm toned. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Super Size Me, which is a little bit more of a rosy mauve. So I think I should be pretty much covered in terms of lip combos with these two. I've got one that's slightly more warm toned and then a slightly more um, nude rosy option as well. So I think these will pair really nicely with the other lip um, products that I want to add in. I haven't really been wearing a lot of other lipsticks to be honest. Um, I do have a couple of other um, lip options in my bag. So I will just top up with those throughout the day. Um, I am gonna add in a couple of gloss slash oils. So this first one is the Clarins Comfort Lip Oil. This is in the shade Apricot. And as you can see, it looks quite orange, but it doesn't translate like that on the lips. If I swatch it here. It's kind of a nice, like peachy coral. Even, even that looks more pigmented than what it actually <laughs> looks like on the lips. Love the smell of these. They feel just really luxurious, plush, hydrating on the lips. I am absolutely obsessed and again the shade apricot i really like the kind of coral vibrancy that it adds to my lips so i've really uh, been reaching for this one a lot surprisingly because i thought this would probably be my least one of the three that i have but i find that on an everyday basis this is actually the one that i am finding myself reaching for i'm also going to throw in my milani lip oil in strawberry melon and um, i really need to use this up the packaging as you can see has cracked it's getting a bit gross but i am very close to using it up so i'm just gonna add this in here because it is a really nice one actually for spring and summer but um i think it's kind of desperate times isn't it and i just need to i need to get rid of this really um so this is a little bit more sticky than the clarins lip oil um, but i really like the pigment level the pigment level is really nice again it's very sheer but i like the um, bright pink i find that it just really brightens my complexion and if i'm not really wearing a lot of makeup i find that going in with this it just livens up my face and i really really do like the formula it's quite long lasting as well because it is a tiny bit stickier than other lip oils that i've tried but again it just helps it to wear really nicely so i'm going to add this one in as well r.i.p the packaging <laughs> and then as i said i have other lip products in my um, kind of everyday hair bag so i'm actually going to leave that as is and i think that is my everyday makeup drawer complete i am obsessed with <laughs> so many of these products really really happy with that i think i am going to do an updated base routine um and i am going to include my morning skincare in there as well and just do like a kind of start to finish complexion video so um do make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss that I don't know, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed um, organising my kind of everyday makeup drawer. 
Um, if you did, please do hit the thumbs up button and I will see you in my next one. Bye.